so ever since she broke the work unions in the 80s, <laughs> the whole gain of economic growth has gone to the only genus. Huh? What? All of it? The worker genus has had nominal raises, of course, but the recent inflation from profiteering and speculation on the war has wiped all that out with price raises. <laughs> so, for the workers, it's like it's the 80s again, <laughs> but the owners, they've got it three times better. <laughs> Quite right. And that is why the trains look so disorganised from up here. The rail workers, they are withdrawing their labour to protest. The fact that all economic return has gone to the owners and none has gone to the workers for more than 40 or bits. I see. Leverage. They lose a day's pay. The owner loses a day's profit, but the profit is more than the wages, so the bosses must eventually agree because it's the workers <laughs> that actually do the work. <laughs> yes, but in this case, the government compensates the capital owners for all of their <laughs> lost profit. You what? <laughs> so the train owners are better off if there is a strike? Exactly. There's no bother to run the trains. The, the government <laughs> just gives them the money as if they had tried. And they just give it to them for no reason. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. The, the government must want there to be some strikes. <laughs> well, they have destroyed the public services through underinvestment, and so as it all falls apart, they need someone to blame. Shouldn't their media tell them? That they're literally paying with their own taxes <laughs> to extend the strikes. Yes, well, at home it would. But here, the capital still owns the means of communication. Oh, yeah. The media are the owners. <laughs> the people pay to be told what to think. <laughs> Which is why the media always report on the damage being done by the strikes and never on the reasons why the workers are striking. <laughs> like that the workers' share of the country's wealth has been dropping for 40 or bits or the way they played the nurses. Huh? Oh, what did they do to the nurses? Get this right. The party of the capital set up a review board to set wages for nurses. They said, they said it would be independent and then stuffed it with capitalists. And then they, they gave it a limited budget. So, so it couldn't afford an increase. And then... And then they said they had taken the politics out of the decision. <laughs> and the media reported seriously, as though it were a joke. <laughs> Even though they ignored the recommendation from the same process last time. <laughs> they, they were literally applauding the nurses when we first arrived. <laughs> and now they're being monstered. <laughs> Surely there's an opposition party. They had a workers-funded mass movement party of the people when we first arrived. What happened? The capital-owned media defamed the leader. They smeared him by falsely accusing him of racism. <laughs> while the capital-owning wing of the Workers' Party <laughs> deliberately scuttled their own election chances. Oh, man. The new leader knows better than to threaten the capital, even if he wanted to. He can't even advocate for the workers, <laughs> while the capital-owned media will lie about him and defame him and use their influence to throw the election. <laughs> <laughs> Watching a world collapse is never dull. <laughs> That's why everyone at home is so keen to subscribe for notifications and to press share and boost and to reblog and visit starshipsd.com. <laughs> it's the best thing on the iPonet. <laughs> <laughs>